In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the polishing station within this video and also how to create smooth variants of stone, sandstone and that aquarium block. So if you do enjoy this video and if you want to see more like this, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and that being said, let's get right on into the video. So there's two different types you can do. You can either do it manually or you can do it automatic. I'd rather go with the automatic option, how them both work in this video. So there's the industrial polishing station where you simply put in the coal and the block that you want to change likewise with this one all you have to do it doesn't require coal you just simply put in the item that you want and it just starts rolling and it looks really good what we're gonna do we are gonna break these and let me show you how to make them so with these you could either buy them from people or you can make them yourself however if you wanted to make them you can head into your workbench and scroll down to utility then you'll see that there is the polishing station on the second row when clicking that it converts blocks into smooth blocks and it costs 45 wood five iron and stone okay that is pretty cheap however if you wanted to take it to another level and to mass produce these blocks what you can do you can go all the way into factory and scroll down until you find the industrial polishing station when you click that it does the exact same thing it converts blocks into smooth blocks however what you'll need you'll need a gearbox steel rods and steel bolts to be able to make steel rods and steel bolts you can either buy them from people for very very cheap or you can make it yourself using the factory update that being said let's get into how this works and what kind of blocks you need to create these variants so if you're watching this video at a later date there are probably more different kinds of smooth blocks that you can get however in this current time there are only three block types that you can get you can get the aquarium block sandstone and also redstone those are the only ones that you can actually use so starting off with the polishing station what you want to do you want to left click or tap your screen where it gives the impression to react to it all right so now you've done that you can put in your chosen block after you put in your chosen block it will start putting a timer on it and once this timer is done your block is finished okay so this is what it looks like if you place that down that's what it looks like it looks really really nice compared to the first block that would look like this okay as you can see you can see the difference it's generally smoothed out and it looks really nice it's another variant of stone so it looks good the next thing you can do is set up this automatic of doing it so what you could do you could get coal all right so if you get a coal totem you only need one for this you don't need any more than that and place that down and then if you grab a conveyor on one side so we put one here along and extend it about by three to four you could put in your chosen block if it has a totem for it however at this current time there are no totems for red sandstone sandstone or aquarium block okay but if there is then you can do that however this is how you make it automatic so what you could do you could put it in a chest on either side okay you need one out and one in chest now we've got our final chest we can put that on the end right here okay because it is automatic we would need a coal totem to power this consistently so we don't have to do it so what you could do now you can just simply put in the amount of blocks that you want to do switch the direction to out and it will just continually do this once this is out though you will need to refill it however it should be able to do all of these blocks with, with only a minor despawn I recommend only doing rows of three at a time because you can only get three blocks in there per time. But these shouldn't despawn there. However, if you don't want the risk of it despawning, you can put it in manually. However, this is how I do it. I basically leave it and then it does its little thing and then it fills up the chest back there. However, there is a chance for the last couple to despawn. So do bear that in mind when you're doing that. The polishing station, I think we covered this. You can simply put the block in and it polishes it. All right, very, very simple and straightforward to be able to do this. So let's check out these variants of blocks. So this is smooth stone, okay, let's put that there and let's put sandstone block on top. As you can see, the two variants right there. The block on the ground is a lot smoother than the top one. I, I think you can probably see that in the video. However, in the case that you don't, smoother block is on the bottom and the, the before is on the top. Okay. And then to finish it off, we can move this smooth aquarium. So if we type in smooth 
all your blocks that pop up here. So look, we can put this down right here. Look how awesome it looks, alright? I'm definitely going to be using this for something in the build. Maybe using these three blocks to build a water pool or something. I mean, that would be pretty cool. But let's grab one of more of these blocks so I can show you the comparison of the before and after. But these look really good. So if we put that down, yeah, as you can see, there's a huge difference there. And honestly, I'd rather this block, I'd rather the bottom blocks here then the top ones they look so much better and you can actually use these for building now because before you can't really use the top ones for building but look if we get stone what would be good if we could get a stone variant of this when we mine it you can get the like let's call it the cobblestone and then you can put it within the polishing station to be able to get this block so the one thing that you're probably going to know is skills do we need skills to be able to do this so let's have a look so there's forging all right we do need to go into forging okay right you have to be level 24 to be able to get the pollution station okay it's not too far it is fairly easy to be able to do that right okay before we actually end the video let me show you all the variants of blocks and how to actually get them okay so you can get the aquarium shards from waters around the map on from different islands so down here at this current time there is none so it might not actually spawn on this main island but there is probably a chance of it spawning on this island if not what you can do you can head through this portal over here and head to this water while heading to this water you all you have to do is simply dive down and you should start seeing some spawn so look here's some right here you just simply want to mine it and you get four okay that is equal to one block i believe so if we mine it again we got two in two so that is one block all right and then you just simply make that at your working your working station at your base next up is the other two blocks so it's sandstone and it's redstone so we have to head to the main island so we have to head all the way to the last island and you guessed it it is the highest level that you have to be unfortunately so I believe you have to be a roughly about level 37 to be able to get to this island, but we'll have a look in just a moment. So if you've got up to this point in the video, make sure you stop the video right here and hit that subscribe button, leave a like and turn the post notification bell on so you never miss another video again. That being said, let's continue all the way to Wizard Island and then head along this track to the other portal just right around the corner level 36 to be able to get through it combat simply just kill 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 and you'll be able to level up all right now that's done you can we are now at desert island so there's two blocks here and these are the smooth variants that you can get all right so you just simply want to mine this and you get sandstone if you mine this one as well you also get the redstone so those are the other two variants and I think you can get aquarium blocks in this one as well. Obviously you get the shards and then you just simply change it. But by the looks of it, this pond doesn't actually have the spawn location for that. So that is fair enough. Overall, I think that basically covers it for this video on how to create smooth stone out of these blocks via using the polishing station so if you did enjoy this video and if you want to see more like this be sure to hit that like button subscribe and leave a comment down below that being said thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out